Okay, so still processing this turn. Um, these guys are down there not doing much. So it occurred to me, these guys are good for their level two priests, so they're good for getting Dominion up to four by preaching and stuff. Let's two here. Do we have any priests? Yeah, we do. Ander. <laughs> He's a blood bishop. That should be getting up to four. That's fine. And where'd Fanny go? Fanny's up here. So Fanny is a succubus. Fanny the second. Fanny has... Gossamer Veil, which gives her Glamour Magic 1, and Blur, and more stealthy. And she also has a Pendant of Beauty, so Beauty plus 2, which makes it more difficult to resist seduction attempts by this unit. The victim's morale check takes a penalty equal to the value of this ability. Beauty at affects seducers with the standard seduction ability, not dream seduction, which is fine. And the dream swool. So she gets a glamour gem if she needs one, and a retinue to warrior illusions if somebody tries to attack her. It'll be fine. Now, did I give her stuff to do in combat if she gets caught? Yes. Yeah, she turns them, makes them blind, ephemeral swords, sleep, sleep spells. So, sure. Can we make more stuff for Fenny? Probably. <laughs> it's just she's basically... Her stuff is a little different. Because she's doing seduction stuff. Like she's going to seduce an enemy commander. Which I think there's somebody here, right? Six units. Armor consists mainly of priests and stuff. So if they've got a commander here, more than likely she's going to seduce them. But we could make more stuff for her. The question is, is what? Because it's going to be mainly glamour-related stuff. In the blood hunt. We have an extra... Zubia. She's a glamour 2. Where's the other one at? She's glamour 3. So let's see what she can make for her stuff. This is a thraldom. This is... Not that helpful. Something for stealth. Oh, she's not stealth is not a problem for her. She's basically invisible. <laughs> stealth is not an issue for the succubus or succubi or the incubi. Incubi. They're basic. They're invisible. The only time that you see them is if uh, they get hurt or they something like that. I forget what it is exactly. Twilight fatigue. Mirage, Mirage Bolas. False fetters, don't want that. Give her lucky coin. It's a shield. The reputed. The figure on the surface of the shield is reputedly the lo lover of Lady Luck, and his face makes the bear pleasant in the eyes of the, of the lady. This mirror. Tower shields enchanted with glamour magic. Hazy images of past battles appear on its polished surface. Surface whenever an enemy is close. Uh, one of the warriors of the mirror steps through the f to fight for the wielder. It's not a bad one there. She's already got the hat. This just makes her sneakier. Mrs. Gimpy's got to talk to me. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So it's this Woven Dreams one. Undreaming and Sleep Aura. On top of magic, the dreams of a hundred old men are woven into this beautiful headband. When worn, the crown will project its sleep-inducing dreams and to at any nearby enemies, making them fall asleep instantly. Headband has been adorned with an enchanted purple heart designed to keep the wearer safe from the sleep-inducing magic of the dreams. Yeah. Awesome, her gown might be useful. Hit points in awe. Eh, not so much for her, actually. Armor of souls. Blood magic, hit points, magic resistance, and vulnerability. Hey, Skybird, welcome back. 
Rise of the Rotator Nap, yes. Here's a Cloak of Invisibility again she doesn't need, because she's already unseen. So, they're unseen until they're wounded. When wounded, it manifests a physical form, and other abilities that affect sight, such as Whammer, will activate. Da -da -da. Boots. Silent boots. Boots of youth. Yeah. So, items. I think she already has items. Yeah, because she's got the Pendant of Beauty and she's got the, the Dream Spool, which gives her a Glamour Gem. Doesn't have horse. I don't think she needs a Boots of Youth. Although, what do they cost? Ten blood slaves. Yeah, see, these aren't really the best choices for her. Because ah, uh, well, ah uh, might be a thing, but it doesn't affect her with the or affect her chances to seduce people. Neither none of these do. And she's got the gossamer veil, which is gives her more glamour, magic, and blur. It makes her stealthy. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of stealth magic with Glamour for some reason. Could give her the shield. Ten Glamour gems. We have 98. Let's do that. We'll get that to her next time, maybe. So, Vukrul's. What should you make for magic items? You need weapons. Ooh, the Demon Whip. Can make you into a bailer. So, when this burning whip cracks at the enemy, severe heat is unleashed and everybody nearby will get trapped in bonds of fire. The bonds can be evaded if you're quick enough, but once trapped, you cannot escape without taking damage from the fiery shackles. Adds a lingering cloud when it hits. Five slaves and five fire gems. We have 96 gems and a lot of slaves, so. Let me make you one of these. So again, we'll make you into a legitimate bailer. Baylor. Sorry. Uh, that's not a bailer. Is it? No, that's the Dungeons and Dragons thing. Um, Balor. What is, what is it in Lord of the Rings? Balor? B A L O R? No, that's Dungeons and Dragons. Crap. Ball of Fire is going to want his money back if you keep this up. Balrog. I was close. I couldn't, I just, I was fixated on the Baylor thing because they, you know, they ripped them off. Dungeons and Dragons ripped off about Balrog. It's the exact, it's what, it's the same damn thing. <laughs> totally ripped off. But anyway. Um. Frederick, Frederick, you need more, some more slaves here. Oh, and Vukra's going to need slaves too. That's spells and combat and whatever. Or, yeah. I'll give you 10 to go. You can always get more. That. He's got his stuff, but we need to recruit some more for him. Demon Lord. What you're doing. Some set there. Here. Control, defend. Preach, preach, preach. Recruiting, that's right, we're reinforcing the army or that garrison? Oh, it's for the druids. Druids need more archers and stuff. Okay. Okay, so I set here. Priest is good. Recruiting stuff there. White port. 
Priest. Not really building up the forces here. We're kind of okay at the moment. Farm. Twelve more. Get them full. So that'll be enough. Spiders. more priest to, you know, spider stuff. Poor Tippy has to rebuild his army. These are the blood bishops, although it's a blood bishop, that's a priest, so you stay here. Do any patrolling or get here. So they have 30 enemy units, crossbows, axemen, heavy axemen. They probably won't attack here. We got a few things here to defend. So those javelins. Oh, these are the the hatchet men. <laughs> Just wander around doing nothing. They're undisciplined, so they don't need to be grouped. Okay, Mrs. Gimpy needs to talk to me again. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Shelob is classified as a house spider. Well, a, as big as a house spider. Yes, she's as big as a house. Okay, so. I think we're good. Fanny's doing the seduction thing over here again because we need another priest working for us. Oh, what are we doing? Patrol, defend, defend, defend. So, these two. We have a temple. Need more money. 
we do for recruitment here? Basic stuff. You can... I don't know. Not sure how a priest search for magic sites. He doesn't have any magic skills. I don't know how that's going to work. These two are working together. We're going to stay here until we can get a little bit of defenses going here because stupid illusions. And how is regrowing our dominion going? Slowly. Slowly. As soon as this fortress is... No, we don't have to wait for this fortress. I think there's already have fortification here comes down to do we want to start a war with these guys here and yes we do um, you could there's no reason why we can't our army should be big enough at 266 well he's 124 plus some extras aim is gonna be he's the the guardian of this oh wait a minute he's the he's the progeny of uh, of Fenny and one of the priests that she seduced. <laughs> He's a Cambian can uh, progeny. I don't know how good her progeny is, but uh, he's there. I think we said we're going to let him guard this place. Or no, Hannafel. Hannafel and Totilla, those, those are the ones that are supposed to be defending this spot. Which means they're going to need more stuff. Yeah, Ander is supposed to be He's preaching. He's a blood bishop, so he's traveling with uh, Azazi. So let's aim Azazi. You can probably stay there. Those two are defending. The druids are coming along. They could use more archers. No, oh, the archers need orders. Yeah, that'll work. I was looking at their position. These guys are down here, and the other ones are up there. Could put these guys all the way over here, though. Here's aim. Aim is not the best fighter. And because he only has blood magic, so he can't really do a whole lot of stuff without slaves. Leech. The life force of a small group of enemies in force to drain will be used to heal and invigorate the mage. Nice range, but he needs uh, slaves for that one. Do we have any slaves here? I don't think we do. No, we do. So it could do something. Um, blood burst. Cause the victim's blood to range 35 to explode. Neither armor nor magic resistance uh, can protect the targets. Area effect of one. But it's more than one uh, person. It's blood burst. Leeching touch. Each damage reversal. Text for a battle for a major battle. Whenever this mage is wounded, the damage is transferred to the one who tried to wound him. It's a blood burst. Can summon some imps. There's not enough stuff to do this one. These. And we used to heal and revigorate the mage. Range of 30, area effect 1. It's decent damage. It's only one blood mage for that. So that's basically the probably the pre version of Blood Burst. Let's do a leech. We'll see what it does. And then, I don't know. 
There's no real spells he's going to be able to cast, so stay behind the troops. He'll be fine. No, yeah, give him some stuff. Astral gems that we don't need. I don't really want to give him any good stuff here, because... Maybe some armor and a weapon, but not what we have for it. What, not what we have currently. Okay, I think we're good. I'm going to get Fanny to see if she can uh, get a priest out of there and see what that's going to do for us. And Oh, we're also trying to get the, the demon lord some forces to do stuff. Why are you defending? Breach. Yeah, need some more troops for the demon. Oh, we're supposed to be recruiting druids out of here. Oh, we can't. Why? No resources. Why are there no resources here? Why are there no resources? The province and Canada. Both Galleries and Pyrene are draining the resources from that province. Oh. Is that new? I don't remember seeing that before. No, resources, not sauces. I don't remember seeing that before. Being a problem. Eh. And that's an old mechanic, but yeah, Forge will bring resources from nearby friend. I, did, I didn't realize that was a thing. It's based on their admin level. Okay, so the, basically the bigger they are, the more resources they suck up. And by me building a full-fledged fortress here, that's what's going on. Okay, like I said, I've... I usually don't build fortresses so close together, so that's maybe why I'm noticing it. Or I haven't noticed it in the past. The P. I can't go pick these guys up while we're waiting. It's only 50. Heavy infantry and heavy cavalry. That won't be a problem at all. That's how I learned this mechanic the exact same way. Oh, you mean the hard way. <laughs> That's how you learn stuff the hard way. Let's send these guys in. We should have more than enough against to deal with, what, 50 of them? Okay, so Zazi, aim... Ander. Ander is the Blood Bishop. So don't die. So go get him. And here we're just... What are we doing here? Oh, sorry. We've got to save our money so we can build... Uh, Palisades or something, because again, stupid illusions. Okay, we're good. So many fights. There's a priest to search the stronghold out for magic sites, but none were found. Because I don't think priests find magic sites. Proclamations from Flegra. Another prophet for you. Blood slaves, blood slaves. 
And Fanny successfully seduced a priest. Seduced a priest. Another one. This guy. I don't have a prophet. You should become my prophet. They can find holy sites, but there's so few of them in the game. Oh, okay, so that's what they're looking for. Okay. So how did I lose? Uh, why did my dominion drop back here? Okay, so. Construct a temple. And you do the patrol. Zazi become the prophet. Reach the teachings and you can search your magic site. Are there trolls in the troll woods? Um, troll woods. I don't see any troll woods. We have Doral Woods, we have Monarch Woods, but we have no Troll Woods. Right next to the province you just built a temple in. Oh! <laughs> All I saw was gray, I didn't picture that as being troll or a forest. So who owns this place? Scout report. Six enemy units. Crossbows. There's a fortress. Mm, I don't know. There might be trolls in there. Doesn't say there are, but there could be. Wouldn't hold my breath. Fanny. See, Fanny's good about uh, you know converting priests over to our side. And ten units, mainly. Cataphracts. Look, there's a citadel. Yeah, let's see if Fanny can seduce over here. Battle and rain. This is them versus us. We have no real defense there, so we don't really care. He's got a tower knight, scorpion, beast, heavy axeman, crossbow. Manchester Arcane. So again, that's here we don't care about. Of course, now he's uh, not in a good position for him. Because he will get run over. Unless he's going to re... Unless he's retreating this, this uh, turn, he's going to get run over. Okay, Tippy, uh, the Druids, and Lair, I think, is the other one I'm supposed to go with. That's Blood Bishop. Yep. Okay, go run them over. Oh, look at them with these 120 units. Mia Griffs, long spears, long bowmen, and crossbows. Several migrants can be seen flying over the army camp. So, how many is that? 120. One hundred and twenty seven plus plus the druids, which is another fifty or so. It'd be a nice fight. Could bring Marco over. But we don't want to because Marco's the main defender there. He's defending here too. So this would be a be an interesting fight.
actually. It's still our dominion, so it should be too bad. Oh, there's a fight here. Two spruce forest? Well, and Morn, that is us. Oh, this is where. So we got Demon Knight. Let's see what this is. Can't you give all those troops to the Demon Lord and test him at battle? Oh, we're giving him his own set of troops. There's our little Demon Knight charging in. There's our little Construct guy. And we got zapped there. No friendly fire. There's going to be no friendly fire at all. Which lord is that? Garyon? Uh, not here, no. But it's the demon lord I do have. Squonko Core has lost two of those. Lost a crossbowman. Crusher got a kill, at least. Swordsman. Somehow I have a feeling those might have been friendly kills, but whatever. That was what we just advanced to. Uh, there's a battle in two spruce forest. Did we win this one? We did. So they're attacking us. Bad choice. Our reckless wild men or whatever they're supposed to be. The ones that don't listen to directions. But we got the chariots at least. Centaur chariots. Centaurs. Gotta love centaurs with a 30, 360 degree area, area or angle of firing. So we lost one chariot. That's not too horrible. That one. Expected event occurred in Cloud Cop Spires. Succubus has collected enough semen to spawn a Cambian progeny. His her offspring was fully aware and with magical abilities and reached adulthood within weeks. So, Fanny. Spitting out the kids. Expected event in Strongdale. One of your agents has investigated the magic of the highlands and when lost in a dense in its dense mist found a cache of magic gems and an item of power. It seems someone had hidden them on purpose. Rune Smasher and Air Gems plus five. So that's there. Patrolling, patrolling, patrolling. So, yeah, the demon lord we have is Garyon over here. He's getting, we're, like I said, we're giving him a little army to play around with. 50 men? Plus him? Horrible visage, shroud of bewilderment, horde of skeletons, horde of skeletons, horde of skeletons. Okay, now we have to... Well, we're trying to get him out of here to cause trouble. 
Can he take the army over the mountains like this? No, he can't. I'll have to go that way. Oh, Fanny. Oh, I thought we processed this already. Anyway, Fanny has a... Made a new friend. Sayer. Sayer. So glamour and blood. Oh, he worked out better than his brother did. Because uh, Aim is his brother. His brother only got uh, one of blood magic there. So how'd how that happen? Come, you're better than your brother. Bewitching lights, warrior illusion, true sight, get to true sight, steel sight, sleep ray. Oh, he's not very strong. Oh, well. Okay, well, I'll just have you cast spells then. Oh, that's the wrong one. No, that's right. Many parents ask uh, that worldwide, even if they shouldn't. What, where'd you come from? <laughs> How'd that happen? <laughs> Those type of questions? How come you are better than your... Oh, that question. Oh, yeah, you should never ask that question. That's just... Uh, that's just horribly cold. You wonder why your parents hate you. Oh, sorry. You wonder why you hate your... Why, your parents wonder why they you hate them. Because you ask questions like that. You should never do that. It's bad. Okay, Mr. Garion. Oh, he's moving, isn't he? Yes, he's moving. Okay, so he's moving over to there to go give them some trouble. Down here, preach, search, build a temple, profit, stuff. Okay, I set there. What are you doing here? I don't know why this guy is here. Stay behind the troops. Why is he here? I have a feeling he got lost in a mix somewhere. Or is it because of the troops that he has access to? Yeah, the heavily armored crossbows. Because I don't think we have them here. Now we have, uh, we have archers, but the cross, the armored crossbows are a little bit better. So that's why they're there. Retreat? No, it's not a retreat. It's a uh, oh, very slow production. That's why. 
That's because the, the crossbows are slightly better than the bowmen. Protection's at 14. Crossbow's got a range of 40. Damage of, uh, sorry, attack 12, 11 of damage versus 14 protection, 35 range, 20 attack, 11 damage. So crossbows are slightly better. They're both wearing good armor, but the crossbow is slightly better range, a little bit more damage. Tyrion didn't have a horse before, did he? I swear he was on foot. He's weakened for whatever reason. I swore he was on foot. These two will be staying here. Just trying to reinforce this place, and then Garo and Andrew can go do their business somewhere else because they don't need to stay here. Stuck in there. Searching, searching. Oops. Oops. Is that all you can say? Yep. That was really poorly done. Sort of. So, spiders. Undisciplined spiders, led by our priests. <laughs> Got a little uh, Lotha sub sub uh, religion going on over in Duolana. English history lessons go on about Agincourt and the longbow. They don't mention the donkey foot prodding the donkey foot prodding later on with the crossbow yes if large spiders at home moment yeah well yeah it's that's the reason we're sitting here is a uh, vano there is just bring out the spiders every turn sure it's there do it's there could use smart druids over there. Do they have strong poison? No, they are not very good. <laughs> they do a sting. It's only five. It's it's not strong at all. They're 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 only large spiders. They're not they're not huge spiders. They're only large spiders. So, but they do have armor piercing damage with their stinger. 
I mean, one point of damage, but... Can we mutate them? Probably. Maybe. We haven't done any mutations lately, actually. It's been a while since we've done mutations. Because we need somebody with the nature, I think. Oh, can we do that with the druids? Oh, no. They, they need blood magic. We need to give one of our druids blood magic. These spells would indeed make those spiders stronger. Right. Here. We're going to send you over to uh, Pyrene. So we don't have any druids over here. Lucrules. What new stuff do you have? Oh, that's right. You have your little fire whip. Oh, the rune smasher. Single head weapon, plus two to penetration. Rune smasher will break down the enemy's magic resistance just before its wielder casts a spell. This makes it very hard to resist spells cast by the wielder of the rune smasher. So how does that work? Is it just that, the penetration? So that'd actually be good in Vukrul's hands. So Vukrul does the Rune Smasher and the Fire Whip. Decent damage, I guess. The Magic Crown. Why does he have him wearing a Magic Crown? Is that just a... Oh, that's the Crown of Lead. Needs a better hat. He needs to get back into combat, too. Can't be sitting around all day making magic items. needs more soldiers to lead. It's going to be a while. Yeah, we have a blood bishop for you to uh, join you down here at the bottom. Guys, eh, these guys should be actually be doing research too, instead of doing nothing. There. So, should we have Vukul summon another demon lord to see how horrible that's going to be? We bind another demon lord or summon another succubus. Yes. Can only do one at a time. <laughs> yes doesn't help me. We can bind an arch devil. I haven't seen one of these guys yet. I have to get to one of the five arch devils to serve them. Arch devils are the lords of the five regions of the Inferno. Winged and powerful, they lead the armies of the Inferno. They wield terrible weapons and can use these barbed tails to lash out at enemies. But it is their skill with fire magic that makes them truly fearsome. The arch devils radiate heat and are impressive to flame, impervious to flames. Once the arch devil dies, it returns once it came and can be summoned once again. I think we do arch devil first. That's nine. That's a hundred. Uh, but we're a little short. Do you have enough buses for the succubus? Yes, we do. Yes, we do.
The dark arch devils are cheaper. Bind a Heliophagus. Several blood slaves to contact and bind one of the four Heliophagi to, to serve him. Winged and powerful, that they lead armies of the abyss. They are composed of darkness, but their claws and horns are golden and enchanted. Their ability to become invisible in shadows makes them truly horrible. They are skilled in blood magic. Once they, they die, it returns to the abyss and can be summoned once again. Hmm. So many choices. Now we'll do another Demon Lord, see what we get. What could possibly go wrong? Ran out of gold. Okay, so moving over to crush them, although hopefully these guys aren't moving up, because if they are, that might be an issue. Hopefully they go after there. Hey, Banner, welcome back. Happy Wednesday. This might be ugly up here. Although we could have, have these guys move up. Although this is... Got a mineral cave and a lava lake. I don't really want to give that stuff up. No, don't want to give that up if we don't have to. But more than likely, he's going to take it. 120 versus our... Yeah. No. 106? Our closest... Take him, it is time to take a break. Your next break is in one hour. So we're going to have them go after that rearmost stuff there. There's only eight of them, but they'll be fine. Ha ha. You guys undisciplined. Oh, wait a minute. Those guys were right there. Actually, not to get run over. Oh, these are the Javelin guys. These guys are... I don't know where these guys are going to show up. We could put... Now, nah, we can't We can't mix them together with these because it won't let us, right? Oh, they do. But then they all become undisciplined. Does it matter? No. Because at least we'll know where they are this way. These are the warriors. These are the hatchet guy. No, these are the spears and javelins. We don't want them in the front line. We want them back there. We want the other ones in the front. Go charging in. Uh, actually, let them come over here. So javelins from the side. That'd be fine, right? Over there, we're gonna have the chariots. What we're gonna do is I have the chariots hold for one turn, hold and then they're due attack. And hopefully, the Mr. Priest, I guess we should do the not the priest, it's um, you two shot, make more accurate. Hmm, yeah, maybe not.
It'll be fine, right? Again, it's going to be kind of messy over here. I think that's my turn. Renny is sneaking down here to go do things. That's that. Okay. So we're going to do our turn. Seven commanders. Let's double check real quick, see who these are. So Ander defending, that's fine. Easy does it. Thank you for the follow and welcome to the stream. Uh, you're okay, actually. That's, yeah, we're fine. Do I want to build palisades here? Probably not a bad idea. Oh, don't have the money to do it, so never mind. Let's defend, defend. Actually, help patrol. If I don't do this now, I will forget to do it. It's one of our Cambian queens. Was she making magic stuff? I don't remember what she was outside of the group for. Why wasn't she doing her slaves? Mm, I don't remember. Too much stuff to keep track of. So, Succubi just cause Glamour and Seduce Priest away. Just cast Glamour and Seduce Priest away. Well, she it's not just priests. She can seduce any hero or commander. It's just that that's only been the ones that she's been able to get to. That's all that was in the provinces. She's going after somebody different this time, hopefully. Hopefully not a priest. Hopefully it's some type of real commander. We'll see. Sneaking. This is a new one. Over there. And yeah, that's it. Next turn. Okay, so I'm going to get up, stretch my legs, get some water. I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll be back shortly. Like I said, enjoy the cat and dog video. Sorry, dog and kitten video. Not cats, kittens. Anyway, thanks for watching.